sometimes you have to do giveaway <laughs> but today my giveaway is not in terms of um, money my giveaway is in terms of knowledge because no no man was actually born with knowledge as we grew older we learned a few things we tried a few things in addition to our our talent then we became who we became so in this case the knowledge i'm giving out today is for those with poultries or those who are into biogas digesters all around the world india pakistan iran uh, south africa ghana where i am right now uh, nigeria you know uh, there is always this um, misconception that poultry wastes don't give biogas that is not true many people who have installed biogas digesters for poultry houses will say that um, when you install it uh, it produces gas but the gas doesn't burn and then they start wondering why it doesn't burn so i'm about to reveal to you the reason why the gas doesn't burn but also the reason why when i build mine mine burns and burns well the thing is this your poultry waste is very rich in ammonia and other hazardous gases that will be produced during incubation or when it's in an airtight system during that process you will have um, anaerobic bacteria in the in the in the waste that will produce gas but now the gas if it is the, the waste if it's too rich will be filled with um, gases that are not methane and those gases will not burn so at that stage you start experiencing failures when you want to produce biogas and that is always a setback this is a poultry of presently about 3,000 birds here then about a thousand or two thousand at the back there but those ones are um broilers and we have this um wood shavings there so we are not, we can't use their waste to call the wood shavings but these ones are layers and uh you can see their waste as it settles on the floor you can see it the waste settles on the floor As it's been done in other places, it's also been done here too, whereby they have to flush all the waste down. Then all the waste, when they have been flushed, they go down here. Well, all this design you're seeing, I met it here. So I did not design this. Anyway, what happens is that there is a pipe here that is connected to another T connector here. It meets with this one coming here and it comes straight out to this pipe and it flushes straight down to the swamp. It's a, it's a jungle out there. So it flushes straight down here in Cape Coast, Ghana. So the redesigning here has to do with Opening this V junction here, opening it up, opening that one up to creating a gutter kind of system with bricks, an open system, open flushing system. To this point, we have a chamber here that first collects the sand coming from the poultry waste because it always has fine sand, something like this. So this is how the sand comes out. Yeah, so you can see this is not from the earth at all. This is not from the earth at all. This is poultry, from poultry waste. So this, that's how it comes out. So this uh, fine sand will first of all be collected here. 
in a 1.5 feet by 1.5 feet by 2 feet deep chamber all open system no piping then from here you can see the lining already that the masons have already the bricklayers have already lined up they will continue this today so a gutter runs through to that point birds are coming in here about 3,000 birds are coming in here too now when it gets to this point the waste will also be collected just the same way there into another chamber here this gutter will be connecting that chamber and then from this chamber here another gutter will be sent all the way to meet with this pipe this is still under construction now here, here is the secret this is where um, we have the major work don't forget that all through when all the waste will be sent down here and also from there the waste will be pure and they'll be flushing every two days so the, the waste will come out concentrated it means that this first chamber here will have concentrated wastes but at the same time you notice how big it is you could also use your eye to denote dimensions as, as concentrated as it is it starts filling up filling up filling up while it's taking time to fill up what happens here is it's also taking days to digest on its own not a bad gas digester just a waste receptacle system or a pre-digester so it takes time to digest on its own when it gets filled it enters into this system continues digesting gets filled enters into the system continues digesting gets filled runs through the system digest gets filled when it gets to this this last small chamber here which is a filter a special filter chamber there's some things going in there when it gets here the waste the color of the waste would have changed from yellow to brown to dark brown to somehow black or dark gray that color alone tells you that most of the acidity has been dissolved don't forget that it also be mixed with a lot of water it has been dissolved here and spent days getting to this point before it enters into your biogas digesters by the time it gets there you are having good waste that can produce gas for you and that is the secret if you send fresh waste into the system it will produce gas but the gas will not be methane in fact it will not be burnable it can't burn you'll be lighting your match but the, the, the gas coming out will keep quenching the flame you see it so you must filter the system first filter first now that is the first thing it's doing the second thing it's doing again is that the feathers that are coming and much of the sand that still escape from the small chamber there and this small chamber here will still find their way into this system so this system will hold up the feather through a special filter we put in here that reminds me for those who are who think they can use them um, wire mesh to filter out the feather they shouldn't try it because when feathers stay on wire mesh they'll block it and it will not work again so i don't use wire mesh for this that's my secret anyway there's a filter i produce that will take in the waste and the liquid but keep out the feather so feathers are being retained by the time it goes through these three other sections it's clean and black then it gets into the digesters there's still further digestion there that occurs within the four systems so that the fertilizer that comes out of the biogas digester is now um far far less acidic and more mature enough for plants when it comes out here there'll still be a collection system a brick collection system here that'll be molded up here so when it comes here you can the according to the owner he wants to fetch out the fertilizer he wants to fetch them out and 
probably sell or use. But at the same time, there will still be excess flow because it's continuous flushing. So from there, we'll have an output that now goes into the swamp. So what used to go to the swamp before was highly acidic. If we can find our way down there to wherever it deposits, you see that plants are hardly growing around there. It's killing them. I'm very sure of that. But whatever will be coming out from here will make plants to grow far, far more. Now, the fertilizer collected from this system, if it is being used for cultivation, you'll be so amazed at how big the leaves will be or how big the crops will be. You'll be so amazed. It's what I have seen physically by myself over the last nine years. So for uh, poultry owners who want to own this kind of system to treat their waste, to remove odors from the poultry, to reduce diseases, pathogens, to get fertilizer and to get usable gas for running a generator and cooking without buying LPG gas anymore, Ghana, Nigeria, South Africa, anywhere, this can be done. Mind you, in different countries, the prices are different. In Ghana here, it's cheaper to acquire this. It's cheaper to build this. In Nigeria here, it's cutthroat. A tank like this, a 5,000 liters tank like this in Nigeria, is about 250,000 Naira, and we have four here. So this is already a million. Then since you, you're been, you've been, you have those who construct for you, you know how much this can cost, including the digging and the rest. You see it. So, it's something you should look at and weigh the cost. But then in the long run, the benefits outweigh whatever you have spent.